Hello everyone. My name is Andy Park, a corporate account manager at SDS. Live streaming for Virtual Drupal 2021 from our showroom in Anyang, Korea. So, so for the last four days, uh, we've actually covered our Easy Bender lines from NS2 and R Pro, our rotary solutions and upcoming model Easy Bender EX and and we've done this for last four days. We had attendees and asking questions, asking us to make samples with NS2 and EX and with R Pros and so now uh this is the last live streaming session uh out of uh, uh, virtual Drupal 2020 and I'm just gonna go over uh, our new product Easy Vendor VCS and even if this is the last you know session uh, all we did for last four days and we will you know post it on our YouTube channel so uh, please come back and and see those videos that we posted over there and if you have any questions please contact a send mail to sales at sdskorea.com or contact your local distributor or dealers in so uh many of you out there might know that sds has been manufacturing and supplying easy vendor series to Die making industry for a long time. As a matter of fact, we've been in this industry for more than 30 years, introducing from Easy Bender Classic, a world's first true steel rule bending machine in 1995, and Easy Bender XR, the first fully automatic curved steel rule bending machine in 2003, to one of the latest models, uh, Easy Bender NS2 Plus, as of today. Beyond these models, regardless of what you have, the Easy Bender needs to be calibrated, even though the functionality have improved. Think about the reason that you calibrate any type of your equipment that you own in your die shop, like a laser, water jet, or a router. They they simply run better and accurate when they calibrate it. They will not only uh, increase the uh, production time, but also saving a lot of resources at the end after the uh, calibration. So we at SDS took this seriously and came up with an automated calibration solution for users who have very, very minimum knowledge about Easy Bender. So uh, here I'm, I am again, this is the uh, VCS, the Automatic Vision Calibration System uh, made specifically for Easy Bender series. It is our uh, proprietary system developed by SDS, which will keep Easy Benders calibrated with very minimum manual works compared to the uh, conventional way get the uh, calibration done. Depending on the uh, skill levels of your operator, Easy Bender VCS, cut the amount of time for calibration dramatically resulting accurate and consistent pieces every time, every job. So Easy Bender VCS is compatible with uh, any Easy Bender uh, product the line of series from the earlier models uh to uh to the latest model ns2 plus and it is standalone unit as you can see this is the vcs and built with built-in canisters which will allow you to move around the shop for those who have uh, multiple easy benders so i'm just gonna move this uh, next to the uh, NS2 here that we set it up here and just gonna go over how to set this machine up first so uh, all you need to do see this uh, power cable this is 220 uh, single phase power cable here and 
all you need to do just take it and plug it into the uh, uh receptacles and which i will now then just like your printer uh the vcs comes with a, a usb cable in the back and this is it yeah uh usb cable here and i don't know whether you could see it but just like your printer cables plug it into the uh the computer of each vendor and this is pretty much ready all you need to do the main switch right here on turn it on and vcs is on so so now with this VCS on, I will now demonstrate uh, uh, how to calibrate left side of the uh, angle of rule data using uh, the VCS set it up right next to the NS2. And but before I do that, I'm just gonna run uh, this sample piece, and and this is actually. This piece will be underbanded, and and because uh, we just wanted to simulate the uh, underband pieces, and so we did it on purpose. And after this, uh, we will calibrate it with the uh, VCS, and then update the uh, rule data and run the same exact piece again, and and then uh, uh, to show you. Uh, you know what it looks like after the uh, cal calibration with yes this is, you know as you can see it has to be 90 degree here but it's it's about 25 to 30 percent off of the uh, calibration so uh so this is it so i'm just gonna go back to the uh i'm gonna show you how to open up the uh calibration process with vcs and and then calibrate it have this rule data updated and then take it from there so uh just like what you've been doing uh with your easy vendor uh this this you know uh, teaching box looks familiar for many of you out there all you need to do just click uh, open this by going into setting and rule data this process is exactly same but the difference here is uh you just pick at one of the uh, 10 10 bands angle piece first and then uh click this icon then it will actually automatically run those uh, uh angle pieces that will be banned 10 times but before i actually uh, run these pieces i just wanted to go over how important update these 10 bands pieces because uh when it comes to band radius machine actually does not know how to bend radius uh as a matter of fact machine bends these radius pieces based on this 10 bands angle data pieces both left and right side so updating this uh the, the 10 bands angle pieces are extremely critical extremely important uh, and and this is uh, one of the most important part of the uh, calibration. So uh, we took it seriously and uh, you know may try to make this uh, uh, process simplified by just clicking one uh, uh, angle pieces here, and then all you need to do is just click this cam teach run here, then additional windows will pop up at the same time. It will automatically run those 10 bands pieces starting pro from uh, point 0.1 degree piece and point 0.5 here. All you need to do just put them in order as it comes out. And, and then uh, be ready to uh, place on inside of the uh, VCS uh, system. and. This window here, by the way, this is the uh, uh, 
the view of inside of the VCS. This is where uh, that you're gonna place all these ten bands pieces, and 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 right after that, and you place place these things, and then VCS will read all these each individual angles automatically, and then by just typing in or pressing couple buttons, it'll update the uh, data. So here we go. I will just put them in nice and tight. This is here and open this for access door all the way and place this in here. Better. Okay, place it nice and tight and lock it. Okay. So and then go ahead and close the door and so now, I mean, un unlike what you've been doing in the past with Protractor, you don't have to measure each individual angle pieces by with the uh, Protractor. And as you can see, the numbers are automatically being measured here. All you need to do, just like what you see from here, uh, press on the uh, letter S key on your keyboard. It'll actually save the data and then it says escape to exit out of this window as soon as you hit that you know uh, e escape key then as you can see all those uh, measured angled will be automatically updated as you can see so all you need to do from now just like what you've been doing in the past just go ahead and click interpolation and just right click anywhere and this is the one of the very important part of the uh, update here uh, because you just pretty much letting the machine know that you uh, this applied new angles will be applied to the arc part of the uh, calibration so that's what what I just did and his save and this is pretty much it but uh, don't forget don't, I mean don't get me wrong I mean this is just what I just did I just update the uh, 10 bands pieces and those single pieces just gonna do the exact same way just gonna click one of the single band pieces here and hit cam teach and it will run those rest of the pieces just put them uh, in order nicely and place them in the uh, uh, inside of the uh, VCS it will also automatically update those and so now just gonna exit out of it since we actually update this uh, uh, radius part of I mean angle and radius part of the uh, calibration and and I'm gonna run this same exact pieces uh, to see how it comes out All right, so as you can see, maybe uh, you could come closer here, and so this is the piece that I just ran, and these are the differences between these two pieces here, and this is the piece right after the uh, calibration with this, and this is how it, it is. Uh, utilize the uh, our new product vendor VCS the vision calibration system okay so I think uh, it uh, I'm sure you know uh, a lot of you out there might have questions for me and this is the uh, time and like I said this is the uh, last session for out of this virtual group now. I feel kind of overwhelmed, uh, you know, that the fact that this is the last session and it's been a uh, long week for for us here at the uh, team at SDS in uh, uh, Anyang, Korea. But uh, this is the uh, uh, pretty much uh, uh, brand new thing for us as well. And so we've been through things and we try hard to make this 
available for you guys and uh so uh, i just wanted to say uh thank you for all the team effort uh to be able to make this happen uh for our company and then show this um, new product uh through youtube through drupal 2021 virtual and so i say thank you again and uh i'm just gonna uh see the the board export and all right so i think to be it and uh thank you again for uh spending and attending t uh your valuable time with us uh uh, through uh, virtual Drupal 2021 and like I said what all the uh, stuff that we did uh, during this Drupal 2021 virtual it will be on our YouTube channel so please come back and and check those things and for if you have any questions feel free to uh, contact us anytime and uh, maybe uh, uh, if uh, if you have any special re request for a special demonstration on any of our product, feel free to contact us anytime. Send us an email, call us, or contact your distributors for a virtual demo. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much uh, initial setup of uh, uh, the virtual uh, demonstration place uh, here in Anyang, Korea. Uh, and so we could pretty much eat this all the time so uh let us know if you wanted to see any anything anything working any features any any special request for our easy vendors uh we will make this happen for you and thank you again uh i'll see you next time